Okay, guys. Uh, I'm parked at Walmart here. It's shortly before 11 a.m. And the temperature has jumped from 47 to 56 in the last 60 minutes. But I think I see a person that I haven't seen in quite a while. Matter of fact, his car was gone and I thought he got kicked out. A man by the name of Buford. A soft-spoken elderly gentleman. And we're gonna go uh we're gonna go talk to him. I need to uh figure out what's going on here. Buford? Is that you? Are you Buford? No. Okay. There was a guy living right over here in the silver Toyota and you look kind of look just like him. No. It's like man, um could you use something to drink? Would you like some coffee? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I got some coffee. What about uh some lunch? Are you hungry? No, I need breakfast earlier. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I got some coffee and uh some creams and sugars and that type of thing. Okay. But uh all right. Man, can I ask your name? Scott. Scott, my name is Daryl. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll be right back. I'm, I'm just parked right here. You know, you look just like a guy that I haven't seen in quite a while, and I was worried about him. But uh, I'll be right back, Bye. providing I make it through the track. <laughs> yeah, this is a dangerous location. Yeah. All right. Wow, Scott. Man, if I must say, if I had to guess, it almost appears as though he has no legs. Said he wasn't hungry. I'll bribe him into it. He, he may never know when his next meal's coming. Hey, Scott, do you know whose buggy that is over there? That uh, baby stroller looking thing? Uh, not my son. I know there's an old lady with a dog that comes out there. Okay. So far. Are you talking about, uh, uh, Dale? Well, I don't exactly know her name. Okay. Well, I don't recall her having a buggy. Here's a cup for you, sir. Thank you. All right, check it out. A little garbage bag. I got creams and sugars and all kinds of stuff. If you want to go ahead and add some, but here you go. Let me fill you up. I just brewed this about an hour or so ago. Mm. There you go, young man. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, help yourself. But uh, yeah, there's packs of sugar, obviously, and you know, stirring straws, and there's three different flavors of creamer: French vanilla, hazelnut, and original. If you want to dig through there, there's some lids there. But uh, oh, William. I can't wait. Back. Okay. So, how long you been out here, sir? Well, right here, I've just been out here probably about 45 hours. Yeah. And I've been homeless for the last uh, three years, going on four now. Three years going on four, being homeless. Yeah. Would you mind if I asked you how that happened? Well, I live my my brother. He's uh, basically uh, totally disabled. He can't hardly do nothing. Uh huh. I try to do the best I can to get out. Sure. Keep house clean. Well, his landlord snuck up on us one day. Come up on the back porch. The kitchen was, you know, a little bit dirty, and that made, that made the landlord mad. And he basically uh, told us we had we had 90 days to uh, move. Leave the premises. Yeah. So you were living with your brother? Yeah. Where's he now? He's uh, parked down there. So he's in the same spot you are? Yeah. Oh, Lord. What's his name? Uh, James Wilbank. James. I, I may have met him before. I'm not sure. He's a big guy. Okay. Man, are you sure you don't need a lunch? I got some food, man. I'm good for right now. All right, well, let me just give you one of my cards. That way you might, you know, this might answer a lot. This is what I do. I help people out. The channel, I have a YouTube thing. It's called What If This Was You. My email address is down there. And I'm just trying to help people out on a daily basis. All right, thank you. Yeah, no, you're totally welcome. And, um, all right. 
Yeah. So your brother is staying over there in a car? Well, he stays out when I come out here. Yeah. Right now, I'm trying to get him, give him some uh, gas money where we can get back to uh, Calhoun. We got a doctor's appointment up here at Wound Care. And uh, we ain't got enough gas to get back to Calhoun. I was trying to make, see if I can get enough to uh, get us back to Calhoun. Oh, Calhoun's a spell. That's a good, uh, what, about 40 miles from here? No, oh, that's about... 12 or 14 miles. To Calhoun? Yeah. I'd like to know what route you're taking. We can go down 41. All right. We usually don't take probably about 30, 45 minutes to get up there. Yeah. He has to come out here every Monday. He is, uh, he's got a uh, bad leg. He's got blisters and stuff on him. He has to get him. Do you need some uh, antibiotic ointment? Mm. I've got that, and I've got some uh, gauze pads. You know, some some basic, you know, basic first aid stuff. Yeah, kind of keep it clean. Yeah. Okay. Some. some some wound cleaner. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what. Let me run to the car, and I'll come back. Yeah. Um, do you got a bag to carry stuff in? Mm. I mean, just like a. Not with me, I don't. Okay. All right. Well, let me see what I can do to set you up. Um, I have to ask, are you just sitting Indian style? Yeah. Okay. No, because I was thinking for a second that you did not have legs, sir. I'm sorry. It's about done the way I can sit out here. Oh, I believe it. That can't be very comfortable. No. no. All right. I see you're getting as much sunlight as you can. It's you know, pretty chilly. All right. All right, well, hopefully that coffee will warm you up. Help yourself. There's plenty in there. Right, so man. let me go get you that first aid stuff, and I'll be right back, okay? All right. All right. Providing I don't need first aid myself. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing this road. How's the coffee, sir? Good. Yeah, it's pretty fresh. Must be running out. Uh, that'll be good. Yeah, it's pretty empty. All right, I'm going to sit down with you here real quick. <laughs> Kind of go over what we got. Um, obviously, this is a carrying bag for you. You know, you can use it as a backpack. Yeah. You know, it's a drawstring type deal. Yeah. But I'm gonna set everything out on the ground here, and we'll put it back in. There's a pack of premium washcloth. You know, the cleaning wipes for you guys. Yeah. You know that'll help. And I got you a flashlight. Now this is hand cranking. You don't need batteries. There's a little lever that pops out, and you squeeze a lever, and it charges it. It's LED okay. from my from my friend Mark. And then uh, here's a first aid kit, band-aids, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, some gauze pads in there. And then we have this is a cleansing spray, you know, just for ge general wounds. Yes. You know, 99% uh, you know germ killing activity. Here's a nice bandage. To, you know to wrap yeah you know and some deodorant some hand sanitizer I got you some shampoo here's some individual rain jackets for you and your brother who yeah how about a can opener that'll work yeah and I don't know if you guys play cards but I got a deck of cards for you oh cool yeah you love to play cards now. yeah for sure and there's a bar of soap in here and also i got each of you some chapstick you know so you don't get the wind chap you know dry lips yeah but we'll put all this back in there that'll definitely work yeah just a little care package i come up with you know got a lot of friends that help me out yeah doreen and then there's a lot to list but i want you to keep your eye on this stuff Oh, thank you. There's many a goods in there. Oh, my old bones. But, uh, oh, well, all right. Is there anything else you could use? Well, I'm good right now. Okay. All right. Well, I may never see you again. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you're not from this area, you know, you're just trying to get back home. Usually, usually I'll come out here, you know, all Mondays, uh, I, I drink a little drink here. I'll come out here for a couple hours. Yeah. 
All right, well, you got a good spot. It's nice and sunny. Yeah. You know, got to warm those bones. Yeah. Hopefully, the coffee will help you out. It will. All right, well, then I'll leave you to your business. What's your sign say? Have a homeless need. Please help. Anything will do. Well, all right. Well, I hope I helped you have a better day today. I hope I do, too. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to go back to the car and get a little bit warm. Then, I'm, then I'll come back out. Well, there you go. Yeah, bring a coffee to your brother there. I will. And, uh, yeah. uh well, thank you, sir. All right. Well, uh, I guess have a great day. You too, brother. Be safe, man. No, I appreciate everything you've done. Sure. Well, happy travels. It was nice to meet you. You too. Pleasure, Scott. Okay, buddy. All right, well, have a good one, sir. All right, you too. You bet. Oh, wow. I don't know what's going on around here with the cars. There's really, you know, like limited signage in the whole deal. It's kind of a mess. Okay, out of coffee. That's kind of a bonus. You know, if you make it, you want to make sure you use it. Kind of makes sense. But, uh, all right, guys. Wasn't necessarily interested in any food. Okay. Okay, I'm going to sign out. We're going to be back again. <laughs>